Hello, in this video, we're going to learn about JSP scriptlets. So what exactly is a scriptlet? Well, a scriptlet is a JSP construct. It allows you to add one to many lines of Java code. And once you have this set up, then you can also include content in the page by making use of out.println. So the basic syntax is angle bracket percent. You write your X number of lines of code and then percent angle bracket. And that code will be executed top down when the page is processed. All right, so that's the background. Uh, let's look at a code example. So very basic example here, hello world of Java. And then I'll add a scriptlet again, angle bracket percent. Once inside of the angle bracket percent, then you can start writing real Java code. So what I'd like to do here is set up a for loop for int i equals one, i is less than equal to five, i plus plus. And I'd like to print out, I really love to code. Now, instead of doing a system out print line, I'll make use of out.println. So this content will be included in the HTML page that's returned. So here I say out.println, I really love to code, and I can add in the value of I. Now, here's the output at the bottom of what we'll see once we run this JSP. Uh, we'll have our header, hello world of Java. So here we'll have our statement printed five times along with the actual loop index. And that's the basics there on setting up a JSP scriptlet. So angle bracket percent, and then you go ahead and you write your Java code. All right, now, before we uh, move into the actual coding demo, I wanna just let you know about the best practice. Um, you wanna minimize the amount of scriptlet code in a JSP. So don't go overboard. Um, avoid dumping thousands of lines of Java code uh, in a JSP because it makes it hard to maintain, it's poor design, and it's poor architecture. What you wanna do if you have a lot of code that you need to use in a JSP, I recommend that you refactor this into a separate Java class or make use of MVC. And I'll show you how to do both of those later in the course. I'll show you how to make use of a separate Java class. I'll also show you how to make use of an MVC framework where we have servlets and JSPs working together. But anyway, I just had to say this up front um, as a best practice so you don't go off and do things the wrong way. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and move it to Eclipse and uh, let's write some code. So what I like to do is I like to continue to use the previous um, project, JSP demo. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna actually move into our web content directory and we're gonna create a new file. So I'll just right click on web content and I'll say new and then I'll choose file. So the actual name of the file that I'm gonna set up here is called scriptlettest.jsp. All right, so that's the file name. And once you're happy with this file name, you can go ahead and click the finish button. All right, great. So we have this blank file and uh, we need to start writing some code. So first off, let me expand the window here and I'll set up the basic HTML and I'll go through and set up the basic uh, body. All right, so um, I'll set up that header three, um, hello world of Java. Okay, great. Now I want to make use of a scriptlet. So again, angle bracket percent, and then we can write our Java code here. So I'm going to do something very similar to what we had on the slide. I'll simply set up a for loop uh, for i equals one, um, i is less than or equal to five, i plus plus. And then I want to print out some information and include it in the page. So I'll make use of out.println. And then again, we're having fun here. I really love to code. Woohoo! and I'll add the little loop parameter here. So there we go, so that's our scriptlet code here. So we have a for loop, we need to print out some information, we make use of that out.print line, and um, I don't know, there it is, pretty simple. All right, so let's go ahead and save this file, and let's move over here and let's run it. So let's right click on this file, scriptlettest.jsp, right click, choose run as, run on server. And great, here's our output. We have our hello world of Java, and then we have this code that was generated by our for loop. I really love to code, woohoo. And uh, we have the loop parameters um, going one through five. As you can see, I'm having a lot of fun here with this really love to code, uh, but that's it. 
Okay, so this wraps up the video. Um, I showed you how to make use of JSP scriptlets. You can add some Java code to generate content dynamically on the fly. Uh, the following videos will talk about JSP declarations, so stay tuned. A lot of good stuff coming up.